Hello, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and I have Mr. Parvin here that um, got another letter from the HOA. So what does it say there, Parvin? This, this here is their board of directors meeting, so they have to send out a notice to all the homeowners uh -huh. at the next board meeting and what they have to say. Uh -huh. And this is the, the Stone Ridge Tube Homeowners Association, and they've limited the communication from anybody that comes to three minutes. Okay. That's kind of, uh, you can't say anything. And then they're going to increase the fines, propose new fines and enforcement policy actions. They've, they've already brought the fines from $50 up to around $250. For what? Like having a garbage can out in your driveway? You see the garbage can? Anything like that. Uh-huh. And from uh, any, anything that the... You decide to find you on. The yeah, hose out yeah. in the yard. Yeah, because uh, the... Um, Bylaws are so broad, it says that you have to have permission to do anything that it wasn't originally uh, in your yard um, from the Architectural C Review Board. Okay. And so they have a proposed enforcement, um, new fine action, um, and, and so it's ongoing. It's ongoing. So it sounds like Stone Ridge is um, getting stricter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. this in your mail today. Uh, yes, Stricter and more expensive, right? Yeah. If they decide to pick on you because your hose is uh, outside, then they can give you a $200 fine. And, and the problem is that Amazing. the, the ch chairperson was the, that is president this year was the vigilante from last year that went around taking pictures, that people uh. were chasing him out of their yards, you know, and now he's the chairperson this year. And <laughs> people vote him in because they like that kind of person up there. Wow. And, uh, Do you so think it's quality control? I don't know. New pending activities to be reported by committee chairman. New pending activities. What is somebody doing that the chairperson is going to fine you for? You know? Yeah, there's, there's one thing having quality control, and I agree with quality control amongst the neighbors of, of what's going on. But as far as some guy being the patrol and, and deciding if you shouldn't have your hose out and we're going to fine you for it and be a Gestapo about the whole ordeal is, is, is actually very stressful to live in a neighborhood like that. Yes, because you don't know what they're going to do because then they have closed session afterwards mm -hmm. and they decide what they're going to do and then all of a sudden they'll send, like last year, how many letters did they send out last year? Did we figure? Oh, quite a few. I, f I forgot. It was quite a few though, a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah, it was over 30 yeah. letters they sent out to homeowners of infractions. Yeah, yeah. So it costs a lot of money instead of um, increasing the value of the neighborhood by putting, you know, whatever lights or playground or, to, you know, something that's good for the community. They're spending it on attorneys and letters and the management fee of um, sending those letters out saying, hey, shut your garage door, something stupid like that. And uh, then, then uh, uh, they have their little spies everywhere, right? The oh. spies that are spying on you, right, so. reporting to the board. Yeah, yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. It's a shame to have live in a community like that because what it'll do is take the quality down and not up in your neighborhood by the HOA being Gestapo instead of what they're there for, to communicate and keep the community together and to, um, you know, make sure, you know, yeah, there's a quality to, to having, you know, not your, your lawn not up to your knees. There is a quality to that, but there's also um, a quality of having it said nicely, will you please mow the lawn, <laughs> you know, um, or anything like that. So it's too bad because it's going to get expensive and people will move out or move in because they want the Gestapo, move out because they uh, can't stand it, or they basically can harass people right out of the neighborhood, which is a shame that they have that much control over your home that you pay your taxes and your mortgage on, and they can um, boss you around. And uh, gosh, you might as well be renting. <laughs> I, I do want to say you might as well be renting. that I picked two tomatoes out of my garden so far. I've picked uh, probably four or five apples. And there's probably another dozen or more there. Mm -hmm. I picked a half dozen peaches off of the garden. So there is a there is a beautiful beautiful place that I've created there, and I want to stay there. I don't want to move because I put all my money into fixing up this yard and this garden. You see, and. If you know of a homeowner association that really works. Yeah, there are some out there that do work. Contact us. Tell us community. what the secret is for a homeowner association to work well. All right. That's, uh, yeah, they can make a comment and or yes. um, contact, contact you. Yes. What's your contact information? JuliaWaldorf.com. Okay. <laughs>